that's what's more fun for me. I spent most of my life as If it's a big, bold action blockbuster, chances are Bruce Willis is in it. I mean, the guy is Hollywood's ultimate action man. And he starred in over 60 films, but surely, most famously, the Die Hard franchise. German-born, but raised in New Jersey, aspiring actor Bruce was actually discovered by a producer when working in a New York bar. While he landed a few minor film appearances, it's a funny coincidence that after working briefly as a private investigator to pay the bills, he was cast as one. His breakout role in the TV series Moonlighting made him a hot new talent, and his star rose quickly. He's an extraordinary actor, as you would expect from someone who's been at the top for so long. It's never, that doesn't happen by chance. And uh, although he's done a lot of action films, what I most like about Bruce's work is the Bruce Willis from Moon Moonlighting. The, um, and a very, very sharp, funny guy. Um, and what I discovered, that unlike most very big stars, is that he's a totally unselfish actor. However, even today, he's very grounded and doesn't take himself too seriously. Um, I really have, I have zero interest in uh, performing in films to, to try to convey any kind of a message. Uh, my job is to be uh, entertaining. And that's certainly what he's done. From Moonlighting, he quickly landed his most famous role, John McClane in Die Hard a part that had already been turned down by Stallone and Arnie. It was a massive success, and the sequels followed. But it hasn't always been smooth sailing, and he starred in some pretty big box office flops. However, thanks to taking chances on independent films like Pulp Fiction, Twelve Monkeys and The Sixth Sense, Bruce has managed to keep us guessing and challenge himself creatively. Well, I learn how to act from every film that I, that I do. I'm like, I, I... I continue to learn, um, how, you know, different things every time out, and, and uh, I think I learn more from the mistakes that I make than, than from the successes I've, I've had. Now, you'd have to think that some of his old schoolmates were pretty shocked by his mega success, because when he was at school, he actually suffered from a really bad stutter. But he discovered that when he was on stage performing, his speech impediment went away. So he signed up for drama class, and as they say, the rest is history. And you know, you're on the right path when your work's being complimented by someone like Morgan Freeman. Uh, but when he's acting, he's able to click on this instant super intensity. And that's what we like about him. You know, it just really doesn't matter what part he's playing. He, he still carries this sort of edge, this danger, this you believe him when he kills people. I mean, you just believe <laughs> that's what he can do, you know? A great movie actor is the actor that can make you believe that you know what they're thinking without a single word of dialogue. It's about how they move. It's about really specific, nuanced things in their behavior. And I believe Bruce is at the absolute top of his profession in that regard. And I think he's one of the truly great cinematic actors of all time. Bruce is an actor that, yes, is the king of action, but also one with the versatility to have a crack at comedy. Action. It's, it's not hard to do comedy and, and it, because it's, it, it's harder to, to, to make jokes work and a lot more challenging and, and yet you get to laugh so much more, you know, and, and, and in between takes you got guys like Kevin Pollock and Matthew Perry just cracking you up all the time. How are you? It's a, it was started out as a serious movie. It turned into a comedy about halfway through. You rolling? I think it's been really neat being able to teach Bruce Willis, you know, acting techniques and styles. Because he kind of came to the set just not knowing what he was doing. And he was like a little kid, and I just said, it's going to be OK. Just when they say action, you start. And when you, they say cut, you stop. And he had never learned that. Yeah, how to hit your marks. and. You have to, what he didn't understand was that you, you have to ignore, when acting, you have to ignore the camera. He didn't get that, so I showed him, and I think it worked out rather well. So good luck, Bruce. 
I mean, he is like, he just exudes like stardom. So for me, it was like really easy to, to like blush whenever he like looked at me. <laughs> yeah, it seems he's had that effect on many women. Most famously, Demi Moore, who was dating Emilio Estevez when they first met. Well, he whisked her off her feet and they were married in 1987, becoming one of Hollywood's hottest and most powerful couples. They had three daughters and Willis says being a father is his greatest achievement. But after 13 years, they divorced, giving no public reason for their breakup. The pair now happily share custody of their daughters and are still close friends. So much so that Bruce was there when Demi became the queen of cougars, marrying Ashton Kutcher, 15 years her junior. Then they attended Bruce's wedding in March 2009 to his girlfriend of a year, Emma Hemming. It was all one big happy family until Demi and Ashton decided to call it quits in 2011. Sad news, yes, but on the other side of the family, Bruce and Emma welcomed another baby girl to the Willis clan. An amazing father and the undisputed king of action, he's at it again in The Surrogates. Bruce is one of the biggest movie stars in the world. He's so iconic and I'm making a movie with him. It, it doesn't suck to be me right now. <laughs> I mean, I only have a couple of scenes with the guy, but if you tell someone I'm making a Bruce Willis movie, they go, Oh, you're in a big movie. <laughs> there is a reason that he is the star that he is, and there is a reason that he, com he has such a commanding presence. And just the idea of, and he lives up to it. He lives up to it in his charisma, he lives up to it in his personality, but he also lives up to it in his work ethic and how he conducts himself on set and how it's effortless for him. And, and it's, it, it's a brilliant study watching him when he's working. Although he's a seriously big superstar, he doesn't take himself too seriously. Bruce Willis isn't afraid to make fun of himself or his famously bald head, calling it God's way of reminding him that he's human. One of the strange things that I've uh, been told and found out while, uh, while doing press for this film is that there's a big audience out there that likes seeing me, an old guy, 62 years old, out there uh, looking like a real young guy. You know, smooth skin, smooth face, blonde hair, Etc. instead of that raggedy guy and that, look at that. See, that's me right there. That's me on Saturday morning. More recently, the sprightly Bruce reunited with a slew of action stars, including the governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger, in the Sylvester Stallone-directed flick, The Expendables. When I stood with these guys, I totally got it, why they're stars. You know what I mean? You get it. You can feel the wattage. That's no bull. It's true. There is a, there's a definite heat that comes off of special people. And I'm looking at Bruce and you know, I, you know what? I gotta do a few more of these dudes, I really do. And then there's the DC comic book inspired action comedy, Red, all retired and extremely dangerous. Bruce Willis was the first to sign on and as a result, a top notch A-list cast followed. Even the Oscar-winning Helen Mirren was chuffed to be starring alongside Bruce. Uh, me, um, not the Queen, Bruce Willis, evening dress machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do it. <laughs> Even though Bruce is a pro when it comes to stunts, Red pushed him to the limit. Carl Urban and I went at, uh, went at one of the toughest fights I've ever fought in my life, and contact was made and we weren't going, oh, hey, I'm a little too old, buddy, ouch, oh, we can't, can't fight this hard. It was deliberately uh, um, uh, crafted on, uh, along the lines of mixed martial arts and how violent that is. Was the most fun that I've had in years was uh, having the opportunity to uh, throw Mr. Bruce Willis across the room and watch him smash into the furniture. <laughs> Throughout Bruce's career, he's been cast as six police officers, but none more unique than in Wes Anderson's Moonrise Kingdom. Now, Wes is famous for creating intriguing alternate worlds through the eyes of flawed characters. And for Bruce, Wes's directorial vision was a welcome change. I, I found it really refreshing to be, um, to be directed and to be to ask, and to be asked to to perform the part in a really specific way, the way that, that Wes saw the character. And in a world where, where a lot of films where uh, 
you don't rehearse and no one really talks to you about it. It was so nice to, to be uh, asked to work in a certain way. Yeah, but don't worry, Bruce hasn't gone too mushy on us. He's still the hard man action star we all know and love. Films like Looper, The Expendables 2, and Yippie Kaye once again in A Good Day to Die Hard prove Bruce hasn't run out of steam just yet. I'm still trying to uh, do as, as good a film as the first one that we did. Uh, I like doing it. I, I like. Uh, I like playing that character. And there'll come a time when I, when I won't be able to do it anymore, but while I still can, I can still run and fall down, roll, run down the street, crash things. It's still fun to do. Bruce Willis is a true A-list Hollywood superstar. Sure, he may have never won an Academy Award, but money talks in Hollywood. His films have made in excess of $2 billion at the box office. Now, yes, he made a promise about a decade ago he wasn't going to do any more action films. He's broken that promise, but I think we're the richer for it, and so are the movie studios. Stick with Star Picks for all the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. Find or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and mnc.tv.